Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another reading of the Bible. We are in 2 Kings 15. 2 Kings 15. 15 Kings in Spanish. In the 27th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, began Azariah, son of Amaziah, king of Judah, to reign. 16 years old was he when he began to reign, and he re reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Echoliah of Jerusalem. He did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done, save that the high places were not removed. High places were not removed. The people sacrificed and burnt incense still on the high places. The Lord smote the king so that he was a leper unto the day of his death and dwelt in his, in his, in his several house. Several house. That's interesting. I have to look that up. And Jotham, the king's son, was over the house, judging the people of the land. The rest of the acts of Azariah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Judah? So Azariah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David, and Jotham, his son, reigned in his stead. In the 38th year of Azariah, king of Judah, did Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, reign over Israel, in Samaria in six months. He did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, as his fathers had done. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. Shalom, the son of Yabesh, conspired against uh, conspired against uh, Zechariah. Conspired against Zechariah. And smote him before the people and slew him and reigned in his stead. The rest of the acts of Zechariah, behold, they are they are written <clears throat> in the books of the chronicles of Israel, of the kings of Israel. This was the word of the Lord at which he spake to Yehu, son, saying, Thy son shall sit on the throne of Israel unto the fourth generation. And so it came to pass. Shalom, or Shalom, the son of Jebesh, began to reign in the night. Uh, in the 39th year of Uzziah, king of Judah, and he reigned a full month, 30 days. <clears throat> well, 30 days in, in our calendar. Uh, reigned a full month in Samaria. For Men Menahem, Menahem, the son of Gadi, the son of Gadi, G-A-D-I, -G Gadi, Gate, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Uh, went up from Terza and came to Samaria and smote Shalom, Shalom, the son of Jabez from Samaria, and slew him and reigned in his stead. Sorry, I gotta wait for the bus. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. Verse 15. The rest of the acts of Shalom, Shalom and his conspiracy, which he made, behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. Then Menahem smote Tifsa. Tif and all the, <clears throat> excuse me, apologies. <clears throat> all who were there, who were therein. Uh, then, let me start again. Then Menahem smote Tifs, Tifsa, or Tifsa, and all who were therein, and the coast thereof, from Terza, because they opened not to him. Therefore he smote it. And all the all the women. Okay, so Tifso is a is a place and not a person. Um, and all the women therein who were with child, he ripped up. Ew, not, that's not very nice. In the thirty ninth year of Azariah, king of Judah, began Menahem the son of Gadi to reign over Israel. And reigned ten ten years in Samaria. He did the he did that. That which was evil in the sight of the Lord, 
He departed not all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. Pul, but Pul, or Pul, P-U-L, Pul, the king of Assyria, came against the land, and Menahem gave Pul a thousand talents of silver. A thousand talents of silver. Uh, hold on. That his hand might be with him. That his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. Menahem exacted. <coughs> excuse me. Menahem exacted the money of Israel, even of all the mighty men of wealth of each man, fifty shekels of silver to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and stayed not there in the land. The rest of the acts of Menahem and all that he did are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. Menahem slept with his fathers and Pekin, Pekahiah, his son, reigned in his stead. In the fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekahiah, the son of Menahem, began to reign over Israel and Samaria and reigned two years. He did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord and he departed not from the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. But Pekah, the son of Ram Ramaliah, the captain of his, a captain of his, conspired against him and smote him in Samaria, in the palace of the king's house with Argob and Aria, <coughs> or Arie, <coughs> and with him fifty excuse me, and with him fifty men of the Gileadites, and he killed him and ran his Reigned in his in, in his room. Reigned in his room. The rest of the acts of Pekahiah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles. In the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the fifty-second year of of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekah the son of Ramaliah, Ramaliah, began to reign over Israel and Samaria, and reigned twenty years. He did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. In the days of Pekah, king of Israel, came, came Tiklath Pilasar, king of Assyria, and took Aijan and Abel Beth Maachar and, and Janua. Okay. Tiklath Pilasar, Pilasar, king of Assyria, took Aijan. Abel Beth Maaka, <coughs> Janoah, Kadesh, Hazor, Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captive to Assyria. Hosea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, and smote him and slew him, and reigned in, in his stead. In the twentieth year, Jotham, the, king, the son of Uzziah, Excuse me. The rest of the acts of Pekah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. King of Israel. In the second year of Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, began Jotham, the son of Uzziah, the king of Judah, to reign. Twenty-five years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Yes Yerusha, the daughter of Zadok. He did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. He did, he did according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Howbeit the high places were not removed, the people sacrificed and burnt, burned incense still in the high places. He built the higher gate of the house of the Lord. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? In those days the Lord began to send against Judah Rezim, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramaliah. Jotham slept, Jotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. In the city of David, his father, and Ahaz, his son, reigned in his stead. So that is chapter 15 of Second Kings. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.